हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉमन टेक्निकल डॉक्यूमेंट सी टी डी राइट सो बेसिकली दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग इट इज डिजाइंड और डेवलप्ड बाय द आई सी एच बाय लुकिंग टू द यूरोपियन यूनियन एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट एंड जापान सो देर आर वेरियस कंट्रीज विच इज दार्ट विच इज द पार्टिसिपेंट ऑफ द आई सी एच सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन यू नो फॉर द फार्मास्यूटिकल रजिस्ट्रेशन और फार्मास्यूटिकल ड्रग रजिस्ट्रेशन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज दे यूज टू हैव द डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट राइट सो दैट दे मेड इट वेरी क्लियर टू इंटरनेशनल लेवल Uh, so that uh, everybody uh, those who are applying for new drug application they will be having the common technical documents the common requirements of the information about the particular formulation or particular pharmaceuticals that will be that information is going to be uh, similar types uh, similar format so that it will be easy to scrutinizing right so let us discuss about this uh, common technical document ctd right so the common technical document ctd is a set of specification for a doser for the registration of medicine so ultimately the goal is to that a registration of the particular medicine by the fda or by the uh, ministry of family labor and welfare whatever the country they adopt uh, it was developed by the ich international council for harmonization before it was the the international uh, conference on harmonization now it has been changed right so in this uh, the basically Uni european union and united states and japan so these three reason of this ich they used to have uh, uh, they have uh, the uh, collected the common uh, points and they developed uh, uh, through ich so that uh, now it is applicable to the all the all over the countries in world right so that it will be having the common technical uh, details right for the for particular registration of the medicine for uh, new drug application right nda ctd is an internationally agreed that's what i told you internationally agreed so uh, the so many countries it is uh, uh, following this one right uh, what is that well structured a common format right well structured what are the main basic important points uh, it is required uh, whenever the particular pharmaceutical company or manufacturer or sponsor they go for the registration of pharmaceuticals or medicine of any formulation right so that is well structured a common format for the organization of the technical requirements right so uh, uh, basically ctd it is having the five modules right five parts let me tell you right so the mo the modules of ctd it is the mo number one module one general information module two ctd summaries module three quality uh, module four non clinical study report module 5 clinical study report right so basically this triangle model ctd triangle model uh, it is very famous right that we need to understand basically uh, whenever uh, any manufacturer or pharmaceutical company it will file for the registration of that particular medicine maybe for the export reason maybe for the marketing reason whatever it may be right so uh, in this ctd triangle uh, you can see here uh, uh, module 1 right so first uh, module 1 it is the regional admin information that's what i have written here general information right so who is the manufacturer what is the company name uh, how when it has been established uh, what is the turnover what are the manufacturing they do general information but this is basically not in not in the part of ctd comma technical document it is not the part but even though it will be there module 1 definitely it will be there with that right coming to the module 2 module 2 it is having five section 1 2 3 4 5 right so five section uh, here we have written ctd summaries right common technical document summary we are going to uh, project on to the module 2 quality overall summary summary about that particular formulation or about that particular pharmaceutical what is the overall summary it may be uh, because definitely non clinical and clinical both the side it is going to have during the uh, drug uh, processing right uh, in inda nda right so investigational new drug application new drug application so pre clinical and clinical trial so here non clinical overview we have to give the information then non clinical summary we have to summarize and uh, we have to uh, give the summary so that the uh, the reviewers they can go through the summary and they further they if they want they can go to the review or not right then clinical overview and clinical summary also we are providing in module 2 whatever the clinical trial phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 it has been done what is the overview what are what how many volunteers how the things has been uh, went on that we have to going uh, we are going to give in the module 2 module 3 is the quality right quality parameters of the pharmaceuticals what is the safety efficacy what what is the kind of 
of quality what are the content has been used and all those things details we are going to give in the module 3 coming to the module 4 non clinical study report we are going to give non clinical rights uh, whatever the non clinical study it is it went on 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 the formulations those report has to be submitted in module 4 in module 5 clinical study report we are going to summarize and give the uh, report so this becomes uh, one specific uh, uh, points uh, in the different modules for all the which is the applicable for all the country if they are going to give the information into that same format it will be easy for the uh, to understand the other country for example if India want to export any pharmaceuticals to the uh, Japan country so Japanese people they will be having different uh, so if the common technical just because after 2003 CTD has become mandatory for all the country right so that uh, everybody can understand what the particular pharmaceutical manufacturer they want to convey the message about the information about the particular formulations thank you